Senator Muti. Thank you, Madam Chair, and thank you, Ms. Underwood, for being with us today and for answering our questions so patiently. <laughs> Uh, my question, I, I want to pursue the, the, the question of statistics uh, a little bit more. I'm being a bit dogged today about that. My apologies. But um, you talked about the statistics you had on women. You talked about the statistics you had on individuals with disabilities. We haven't heard anything around seniors who live in rural areas. We haven't heard anything around indigenous seniors, black seniors. Do you collect this aggregated data? Do you have that data available to you to help you in your policy making decisions? Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, uh, so uh, I don't have on hand uh, the information about our urban and rural, um, though I do believe that we collect that information. So I could come back to the committee with that. Um, information about um, uh, uh, Indigenous communities and and racialized communities, um, uh, as you know, is is not uh, not easily collected um, uh, uh, now. So I can I can look at whether or not we have additional data on, in that space, but I don't uh, I don't believe that uh, that that we we do have that information. Question that I have is, so what what informs your decision? to go with age rather than with income and to go with uh, across the board above 75, to, to go with um, the OAS, not the, not the supplement that it targets people with lower income. Is it the lack of information that, that drives how you arrive at your policy decision? And would it be helpful to collect this data? Certainly, uh, I certainly think it would be helpful to to have more information and more data. Obviously, as we as we disaggregate populations, we can better look at at how our policies are are imp imp impacting population specific populations. We do look at the data, um, and I would say it's not so much the lack of data, but but in analysis of the data, we we um, we see that seniors over over seventy five are more vulnerable. Um, they do uh, tend to have lower income, and they do tend to have higher expenses. Uh, as the, as they age, and so it's for these reasons that that this population was chosen um, as a as a broad group of people who could um, uh, benefit from from wider government support. 